Since the creation of Pakistan, Pakistani Christians have played a major role in every field. S.P. Singha cast his vote for Pakistan, which eventually resulted in the majority of votes needed to create a new country. Christians and many non-Muslims were in favor of Pakistan because it was promised by the Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan, that Pakistan would be a democratic republic state where all citizens would be equal under the law of the land. Ironically, a short time later, in 1949, religious identity was introduced to the Constitution through objective resolution, and the Christian members of the Parliament walked out, lamenting the loss of Jannah's original vision. The consequent legislation has only served to marginalize minorities further. Seven years later, they were betrayed when Pakistan was declared an Islamic Republic, and all non-Muslims, including Christians, were reduced to minority status. The Christian infrastructure of education and health, established by Christian missionaries, served and built this land for numerous years and produced such sons of soil that won the pride of the whole nation. The betrayal was followed by bereavement when all their schools, colleges, and hospitals were nationalized, creating a domino effect of sabotaging their scant opportunities of getting educated and getting a decent job. And that was not all. The hate waves surged through the education system, distorting the image of anyone who was a non-Muslim. Legislation and policies were crafted to marginalize and segregate the non-Muslims, resulting in poverty, insecurity, joblessness, and all kind of harassment. Christians have been an easy target for the frustrated Muslims reacting to Western invasions and freedom of expression, as they are identified as Western agents on the basis of their religion. Many Christian organizations are trying to raise their voices but their words are falling on deaf ears. The community occupies the lowest strata of the society. In the eyes of many, they're not even Pakistanis. Their efforts are ending up in a blind alley. Victor's mission is empowering the voiceless, hopeless, discriminated, and marginalized communities around the world starting from Pakistan by transforming their sorry plight through socioeconomic development, education, and skill enhancement. At VM, we believe once minorities are self-sufficient, they can be heard and can make a positive difference in the society. Bringing them to this realization needs a huge commitment and effort, which might seem difficult, but we have started the effort with the belief that together we can.